All right, and we are back with the... I think this is the fifth stream we've done for the Evil Within. Um, if I recall correctly, we're getting pretty darn close to the end of all this. Um, I know there's one particular boss battle I know is going to be coming up. And from there, we sh yeah, we should be pretty damn close to the end. But uh, we still have the DLC for this game, which I have not played. I think there's two separate pieces of DLC that we're going to be playing also. Uh, Tatiana Gutierrez, nurse at the Beacon Hospital. Disappeared while working a late shift. No evidence of her ever of her ever having left the building. Please, information needed. Who could that be? But she's... That's the nurse in this area. What's possibly going on? It never gets explained. <laughs> like most things in this game. Um, oh no, I guess it's pretty explicit about like Rubik and all that. That's fair, I guess. And at least with like Sebastian's uh, daughter and whatnot, that gets explained in the next game. <laughs> All right, so we got some closing flesh walls and stuff. Squished a poor little rat over there. Rats make good pets. I don't care what anyone says. Um, where do we? Go? Oh, I guess that's where we go. <laughs> that answers my question. Shit. Uh, snipers very good at taking these enemies out with one hit, so I don't have to waste anything else. Didn't even drop anything. Very rude and inconsiderate when enemies don't drop shit. Oh, sh oh those are rats. And... Oh! Never mind. They didn't have to kill that thing. Something else did it for me. I don't remember this part at all, to be honest. Okay, we got a match. Harpoon. Should have my shotgun out because we have max capacity, so... Better use it uh, before we kind of go wasting resources. I feel like it's, it's definitely a good... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh. Am I just dead? Oh, wait, no, this actually works for me. Oh, no. That is bad for me. Am I just... Fuck, am I... Oh, I am so dead. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. Damn it. One more. Oh, that's not gonna go good. That is not going to go well for me. Can I disable this somehow? Shit. Ah, gotta be more careful. I I am aware, Sebastian. Uh let's see there's a statue right there. Um, let's heal up. So that that those are a bunch of hits I took for no reason whatsoever. That's my B. My bad. There's a bomb. Never proclaimed to be great at this- Oh! Shit! Okay, that one's not fair, because you can't even see the trap. It's underwater. I will argue against that one. Granted, I don't think it did that much damage, so... Grand scheme of things, it's relatively okay. Let's burn that. Oh, shit. I... Oh, <laughs> that almost blew up. Go. Honestly, probably one of the easier keys we've gotten. It was very... It wasn't even hidden in plain sight. It's just, like, sitting right there. A lot of these other ones can be, like, pretty obtuse about where they are.
Yeah, uh, being good with preserving ammo, definitely a good trait to have in survival horror games. Um, maybe not so much in like some gung-ho shooters like a Halo or Call of Duty, not, not even Call of Duty, like Halo or Gears of War or just like, even when I get like a thing of rockets, I'm like so fucking reluctant to use it. And usually I wind up saving it to like my own detriment, just like, I'm gonna save these rockets to when I really need it. And then you get to the end of the level, it's just like, oh, I never used it. <laughs> So I've definitely started to adopt the strategy of uh, if you have it, you might as well use it. Don't wait for some random opportunity. I try to play most games like that nowadays, except for survival horror. I will still preserve and, and like super conserve my ammo and resources like there's no tomorrow. That would be the, the only exception. A lot of goopy, insecty stuff going on. Let me see if I can burn this guy. No, I cannot. Oh! <laughs> Got fucking sarlacc or something. Yep, see? We're already running into issues with shotgun ammo. They didn't use it. Maybe I should have upgraded the capacity. Then I would have just been like an extra three shots. I would still... Uh, I've been able to use. That gel. These are not destructible, apparently. That thing got ripped all the way through here, I guess. Yeah. Oh! Very. I don't want to pass through that. That shit's gonna fucking squish me. That is a... I would not do that. If I did, I would like jump through it. I wouldn't fucking sidle along. Shoot. Oh, oh shit, 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 shit. Burn. That is my cat meowing because she is indecisive. Like owner, like pet, I guess. One, two. That was a headshot. Shit. One, two. Oh, shit, 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 shit. And then burn. I have so much, so many matches at this point, it doesn't really matter if, uh, if I'm burning bodies that won't get up anyway. I need to turn off all this electricity. Uh, shit. Man, a lot of kills in there. <laughs> oh wait, shit, still getting up. I thought it like blew up its head. I guess not. So. There it goes. Oh, no, he gave me two more uh, shotgun shells. Pistol ammo, which I should probably start using. Shotgun ammo. It's actually being pretty nice to me. Oh, shit. One. Having a lot easier time with these guys than I was the first time. Uh, granted, we don't have like freaking ceiling traps to just kind of get rid of them instantaneously. It also helps. I just have a shit ton of uh, shotgun ammo where I can just afford to ammo. just keep doing this. There we go. I guess I can do this. As long as there's no one behind me. Please no more exploding shit. Exploding shit's really good at killing me in this game. Is there anything else I missed over here? Nope. Oh. One. I am so glad I I upgraded my freaking pistol's uh, critical hit chance so early on because it has made this playthrough 
Not ridiculously easy, but so much easier than if you did not spec into it. That is like one of the most critical things you need to spec in this game. There we go. It's like, yeah, you can't do a decent amount of damage over time, but what's the point of doing damage if you can just keep getting insta-kills? There. No, that's not a tripwire. Being paranoid, though. There is something around here, though. Oh, shit. I do not remember this ugly looking thing. But apparently, that's what's been killing all the other enemies. Why? I don't know, but. It is. Have I wandered in this? See how am I doing on ammo? I'm doing pretty good. I should probably use some of these freeze bolts, though. Save myself some pistol ammo for right now. An explosive one too. Explosive ammo sucks because it is one more way that I can die from explosives. Especially since I'm the one uh, that's really bad with friendly... I'm not... Okay, I take that back. I'm good with friendly fire when I have teammates. I don't generally shoot my teammates. That might That's probably going to come back to bite me in the ass because I have killed a couple teammates here and there uh, in games such as like uh, Rainbow Six Siege. But generally... I'm not as bad as other people. I'm pretty good at controlling my fire and whatnot, but if you decide to walk in front of me while I'm shooting, that's a completely different story. I would say you are probably to blame for that. And then there's been other instances where I see gunfire from behind me and I'm not aware that my teammate was behind me, where I just spin around and admittedly pull off a pretty damn fucking cool uh, quick scope just to find out, oh no, that was my teammate, shouldn't have done that. But, uh, yeah, when it comes to explosives in games and blowing myself up, I am incredibly proficient at that. Uh, we got a key, and we have a decent amount of gel. Let's go do the key first. Over here. Oh, and it's more green gel. Did I use all the keys? I don't... S I don't think I got all the keys in the game. I am pretty damn sure I missed it. Oh, yeah, you can use the ones on the bottom and even the top. So I have missed an incredible amount of these. Holy crap. I got really happy for a second. Just like, wow, did I open all of them? No, I, I suck at that. <laughs> I would have to, like, literally use a guide in order to track all these down. And All right, so let's see. Do our life, syringe recovery, critical, can we get some damage going? No, we can't. Stock, we're pretty good on shotgun stuff now. Let's use syringe recovery, because we are constantly low on those, so we need to get the most out of it we can. Alright, and then we'll save because this game does not like giving you good checkpoints. Then we gotta take that responsibility on ourselves. My cat is going crazy right now, aren't you, Mac? You wanna go outside the room, but then you're gonna cry because you wanna come inside. You wanna come say hi? Come here. Come say hi to the stream. Yeah, you're being a little butthead, huh? She's probably going to be out of focus if I bring up to the DSLR, but here we go. She's a little butthead. Alright, back to the game. Maybe if I publicly shame her, uh, publicly shame my cat, uh, she will leave me alone. The answer to that hypothetical question is obviously no. Cat will never let me regain my sanity. That is out of the question. 
let's see, I think we're supposed to start this, but then it doesn't work. No, we can't even use it right now. Okay. Shit. This is dead. It is dead, I guess. Okay, we picked up the sockets. And there's a quick little puzzle. Okay, so we need it to go to the lift, right? Okay. Inserts. Controls on this aren't great for uh, mouse and keyboard. I think that's it, right? Everything's powered up. Wait, what the fuck? Damn it! What am I, an electrician? Oh, we just gotta pump it. Powered all electrical equipment simultaneously in the subway in Chapter 14. Okay, so maybe you didn't necessarily have to do that. I just kind of did. Wait, is this supposed to be fucking laughing octopus from Metal Gear 4? It is a tentacly looking octopus squid thingy. Let's just call it Squidward. Okay. Um, just get as much damage going as we can. Shit. Load. Good thing we upgraded our sprint. I think people like super crazy underestimate how much just like even a short little uh, uh, spree. Like you don't even have to hold it down, just like a quick little burst will save you a lot of trouble. It's in oh, I see you peeking your head out. Just keep wailing at it. Okay. Oh shit. Um Ground sound headphones, do the work for me. Oh, it's freaking got little squids coming for me. Just bait them. I don't. You guessing gets up here somewhere? Okay, they're spawning from here. There it is. Alright, so I'm out of shotgun. Oh no, I still got one. Okay. Shit. Uh, let's get off my back before I swap to something else. Get some more ammo. Syringe going. Uh, let's see what else we have. Do you have a magnum shot, which I want to save? Sniper is not really too much help. Um, get some grenades going though. Oh, I paused too long. You're gonna attack me. I see you. Dude, I am totally shooting its head. There we go. Okay, let's get these grenades going. Oh, shit. Damn it. Keep wailing. Oh, never mind, it's dead. Is it removed an invisible enemy from the equation? I I did accomplish that achievement. I guess the achievement's not popping up on stream because it's an overlay. But let's pick up this uh, goop and let's just go ahead and use this other syringe. Damn, we're getting so much more out of those now that we've dumped a decent amount of uh, upgrade points into it. 
Actually, wait. It said that there was a, a lift, supply, and box. That should be this door. So there should be a separate room with like supplies and stuff in it, right? Why is my cursor still on screen? There we go. So is there a supply room that opened up from this? No. Odd. I thought that would have done something. I guess not. Oh yeah, now we have to start it up. Press space repeatedly. The most challenging of tasks. Oh, now that... Uh, okay, I think that room will just open up. There we go. Oop. Ammo. Got a lot of goop now. Oh, there's something even over here. That was not open before. Oh, there's a statue right here. Just don't stand up. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I would normally be, well, by default, I like high frame rates in games. I, uh, my current monitor is like 144 hertz. Um, as much as I would love to be playing this at, at the bare minimum of 60 frames, because there's an option for that in here. Um, it does come with a lot of stuttering, so 30 FPS it is. And, um, I don't know, it's fine. I gen... Like, if it's a competitive game, I certainly don't want to play, be playing at 30, but 30 FPS is still f okay. Uh, this, this is mostly in regards to PC. Like, generally, uh, running... If, if it's not a locked 30, like, if it's just because you have a low-powered machine or whatever, it, it can be pretty bad just in terms of frame pacing. But if it's locked, it's, it's absolutely playable. Consoles definitely do a better job of doing 30 FPS than uh, PCs, generally. But, fortunately for me, the sequel is a much better PC port, so... Um, we should be good on that front. You... Who is trying to say things to me? Um, what's our ammo? situation looking like. We have flash bolts. Probably use those at some point. Just gonna keep going. Will. Surprise whoever's doing this, well, we know Rubik is, has a time to freaking uh, purposely miss us apparently. We also put words in blood on these things. You will suffer. Oh no. I saw a decent amount of people saying they really liked the mansion chapter with Rubik, where he's chasing you around and can insta-kill you. I think it's memorable, but I wouldn't say it's like one of the like best parts of the game or anything like that. I. I don't think I would go that far. <laughs> we are now here. You've published my research in your name again. Did you think I wouldn't find out? And I have done you a favor. You have no credentials. You'd never appear in a reputable journal otherwise. Nobody in the world knows you even exist. Oh, but they will know. I have surpassed you in every way you can imagine. No matter. I have what I need. All that's left is the procedure. Indeed. That is why we are here. We? Oui? 
You wouldn't dare. You couldn't complete it without me. Precisely. Oh, Dr. Jimenez is behind this entire fucking situation. Okay, yeah, Rubik's a bit of a psycho in the real world, but he doesn't have powers over there. Um, you, would, you would imagine at some point fucking Jimenez would stop fucking um, tormenting him and doing shit. The dude's clearly unhinged. Maybe you shouldn't fuck with him like that, you know? But these people don't have life preservation skills. Here, we gotta... Oh no, fuck, we gotta shoot the legs so we can pull this stuff out, right? There we go. And then one more. Yeah, we're doing this relatively quick now. Yeah, that's all of them, right? Chapter 14 clear. A relatively easy one, evidently. That's... And next chapter. Axes dropped by enemies do a lot of damage, but can only be used once. I haven't had an axe in fucking forever, so... <laughs> Thanks for the tip. That was... Yeah, not very useful. I don't even know if I'll get another one. <laughs> but Kidman's looking over us in some kind of testing facility of some sort. Kind of vague as to when. Ex oh, it's us. I would say it's us, the good boy, but uh, I guess Sebastian's kind of a good boy. He might be a little bit of a dirty cop in the sense that um, he doesn't do everything by the book, which, hey, all cops are bastards, but um, he's not, like, beating people, I guess. In, in the context of the story, he is the protagonist, therefore the good boy, but he's a cop, so we're going to strike that status away from him. <laughs> oh, and there Nobody is a notebook. At all. Internal Affairs Interview Transcript, March 13th, 2013. Um, investigator PHI, you know why you're here? Uh, Detective Cassianos, because you people aren't doing your job. You've been pursuing an unauthorized investigation and, and using KCPD resources to do so. In addition, there are reports of threats, intimidation, and physical violence. Okay, guess me. I guess I'm wrong on what I just said prior to reading this. If you had any proof of those allegations, you'd be taking my badge and gun right now. You've obviously been careful. Otherwise, we would have. But we're watching you. You're not the only ones. What's that supposed to mean? Keep following me. You'll find out soon enough. You keep drinking like you do, we won't have to. I've got work to do. Are we finished here? For now. But you're on thin ice, Castellanos. If I get even one more report, you're through. I'll be through when it's over. Uh, and then, parentheses, Detective Castellanos leaves interview room as if that was necessary. Ruvik? Oh no. There's Leslie. Losing our minds. Can I not open? Oh, there we go. Had to wait for the Leslie. wave. Leslie. Losing our minds. Losing our minds. I would enjoy not losing my mind, Leslie. This way. Thank you, Leslie. You are very helpful with directions. Hey, wait. 
Was that the number in the little dream nightmare thingy? A lot of water going on. Don't know what the purpose of it is. Oh, hit the button right here. Alright, kid, where are you taking me? Damn, fucking Leslie bolted off. Fucking Usain Bolt over here. Can you just wait by the door, Leslie? Nope. <laughs> Circumstances do not allow for that, I guess. I. Did that just add an L? I could have sworn it the L was not there before. This looks like exactly the way we came in, but in reverse. This way. It's going to come down. Why is this, this hallway way. so long? I don't remember this part at all, by the way. And now we are at Beacon. Beacon. Just like Chapter 15, said. and Evil Within. <gasps> it's like the name of the game. <laughs> okay, I know we're not quite at the end yet, because there is one very particular boss battle I know is coming up. But I think that's the last one before, like, the final encounter. Whoa, just teleporting everywhere. Apparently we have the powers of instant transmission. God, I love I it when it. games bring you to the very beginning of where you started the adventure. A lot of dead people. Alright, so this is... Man, I just love that fucking trope. I, I'm i just a sucker for it. I don't know if the Executor Chainsaw dude that we saw in the beginning is the same one as the one we killed in the village. Or no, because you, you find another one in like the castle area. So maybe the original one's still hanging out around here? I don't, I don't remember. I, I don't believe so. But it is possible. I know for a fact there's a... Not a nod, but... Uh, you should play the sequel. <laughs> that enemy may or may not make a very awesome appearance in the sequel. Uh, Ruvik was a crazy psychotic asshole murderer before this whole stem experiment thing, but 
yeah, probably not great to feel your brain being carved out of your body and being experimented on. So, sorry that happened to you, but you're kind of a piece of shit before, so not a lot of sympathy there, my man. Oh, see, this is why I always get confused when I, why I always think in the beginning that there's resources over here, because it's not in the beginning, it's at the end of the game. <laughs> That door is barred off. But see, we couldn't smash that in the beginning of the game. We had to go through here. Didn't we? And then there is a... Yeah, there is a fucking ladder. I want to say staircase. So this is actually new. I'm so paranoid of traps right now. Why are there so many of these fucking doors? Leslie. No. Poor Leslie. I really hope Evil Within 3 comes back to uh, Rubik, just because there is stuff they can do with that. I won't go into like much detail about it, but 2 has nothing to really do with the first game. It has some of the same characters, two of the same characters. Um, yeah, it's not like a continued antagonist or anything. By the time I realized the menace had betrayed me, it was too late. I was so close. He knew it. He knew that I was too focused to notice when he brought those men. They'd never gotten past my traps otherwise. Their device is a perversion of my own. The device I should have created. My data. My equipment. My theories. My mind. They replaced my husk of a body with a new dimension of torment. I don't feel bad for you, dude, because you suck. Menez is a piece of shit, too, though. Make no mistake of that. I didn't even know you were in the room, buddy. Pretty good cat, though. Okay, surprisingly no traps, no enemies in there. So a pretty smooth area to go through. And now we're back at his mansion. I don't know, this is the hospital still? I think this is... Mansion? What's up with the giant freaking tower to nowhere? So I'm thinking that, okay, maybe that is the hospital. Leslie? Can you stop wandering off, you freaking little albino dude? He is walking a little weird. He's not really walking like Leslie. Okay, I, I didn't realize this stuff happened earlier than, like, right at the end? I'll, I'll go into it more once the credits start rolling, but, huh. Didn't. Hmm. At, at, this, at this point of the story, you already know, um, Ruvik wants Leslie because... Uh, he wants his body. He does not have a body anymore. He's just a brain hooked up to this uh, device that's creating all of this. Ruvik wants Leslie because he's the only one that can withstand being hooked up to Ruvik for an extended period of time. So, it's basically the Matrix. <laughs> he's, he's trying to escape via Leslie. And, uh... Slight spoilers, it would appear as if he already did. I wasn't aware it happened this early on. 
Wait, can I not go and use my other key? The one I had just gotten? Right, it looks like this might be the last chance to upgrade. Um, damn, my pistol's pretty damn good. Um, shotgun. I can upgrade the hit, the damage multiplier on my um, my rifle, I guess. We don't really need anything else. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Not that we have, like, a crazy amount of ammo for it. Actually, do I still have points? Yeah, we don't really have much. Uh, let's go ahead and save again, so just because we did that. Alright. Oh, we can't even kick these doors open. I think this is supposed to be the hallway where you kind of first see Rubik going around, slashing dudes throats. <laughs> Hello. I'm not letting you out. You're being rude. I know you're out there. Nope. <laughs> nope. I I do not want to. Can I not open this? Don't ignore me. Okay, I guess I have to. I seriously don't know who this is though. that supposed to mean you'll see I'm gonna look in like on the Wikipedia who this is <sighs> later on because he has a face you just can't super clearly see it oh that's his body he is dead poor guy rest in peace let me see if I get a closer look and yeah, no, he's super dead. Bye, buddy. You did something of worth at some point, I would like to assume. But you are burned up now. Oh, we're all the way back here. Oh, yes, this is the exact hallway from the beginning of the game. Ruvik frickin' swiping on over here. I don't see why Ruvik is constantly toying with us when he can kill us, like, at any moment. I guess he just frickin' gets off on it or something. I guess we don't have our lantern anymore. The trusty lantern. Is he crying like a baby? Uh, they said look out for the eye. I did not look out for the eye. He's got me under his fucking Mongekyo Sharingan or whatever the fuck. From Naruto. Thousand years of paint. No, that's a fucking finger up the butthole thing that Kakashi does, right? <laughs> uh, I forget what the like freaking subtitle for Monk for was it uh Tsukiyomi or whatever? The freaking Genjutsu torture technique? I don't know how to pronounce it. Tsukiyomi. Okay, let's use these bolts, because we can use them on a lot of enemies right now. Okay, it didn't affect you. We're going to get you, though. Oh. 
Flash bolts are doing freaking work, and I have so many of them. Well, I, I can craft a whole bunch. I think I just went through what I have offhand. But no, why am I? I don't need to go up there. God, these ones freaking suck. They don't do like shit for damage. Granted, I haven't really upgraded it, but still. Come on, get down on your freaking. I'm gonna burn you. This is just a rush of enemies. Oh, it's a Rubik clone. Let's kill them as soon as we can. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Nope. Run. Zap, 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 zap. There we go. Hurry up. Oh, no, don't interrupt that. Please don't do that. Any other time would be better. Two of them, I'm happy with that. We got a lot of ammo though. I hear enemies, but I don't. See enemies. The little weird enemy ocean waves? Pulses? I still don't see enemies. Oh, there we go. Shit. I tell him this. That is embarrassing. Don't smack me. Oh shit. Okay. That was embarrassing. Didn't do that much damage, so I'm not annoyed by that that much. Oh, what the fuck? Should have has a rocket launcher. What kind of horse shit is that? Killed 400 enemies. Thank you. I did do that. Oh, now you have a chainsaw. That's fair, I guess. Get up, get up. Shit. Uh, oh, you're dead. How is that? That is not even where the freaking reticule was. How many shots? Are you? There we go. That took so much more ammunition than it should have. All right, let's just go ahead and go around and try to scour up resources, and then we'll move on. Probably should have crafted some more flash bolts or whatever, but. I was in the heat of battle. Because I have so many freaking resources to make them. I did kind of spec them to like be able to take out like three enemies at, with like a single shot. Well, not like take them out with that shot, but it gives us the opportunity to 
insta-kill three enemies with the uh, follow-up sneak attacks. Surprisingly only takes two um, metal pieces, whatever resource, whatever the fuck it's called. It doesn't take that much. It takes less than, like, basically everything but the uh, harpoon shots. I believe that takes up, like, the same amount. And it's so much better than everything else, so it's kind of crazy. Oh, fucking snipers, really? One. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, damn it. That's not good. Okay. Um, I need a heal. Let's do that. Is there some kind of sniper ammo around here? Nope. Plenty of pistol. Shit. Can't really get, like, super crazy headshots from right here. Oh, shit. Fucking... He's a good angle, I guess. If he wants to pop this freaking. There we go. Damn it. Gotta heal. Yeah, let's just come up here. There we go. There's a sniper ammo. <sighs> that open. Oh, that is a hell of a jump. That is a bomb that we should deactivate before we start this encounter. Don't want to be... God damn it. I was going to say, don't want to deal with that in the middle of battle, but um, we still got hit, so I guess it ultimately doesn't matter. More shotgun ammo over here. Alright, let's not blow up from this. We just want to disarm it. There we go. Oh no, there's two safes over there. What could this possibly mean for us in the incredibly near future? Boss battle time, that's exactly what it means. Alright, I'm gonna try to focus on one at a time where possible. Uh, results may vary. Come on. Oh, no, no, dude, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Oh, I still got hit. Flanking me, that's not great. If I can at least stun him here, I can kind of block their advances. There we go. Oh shit, uh, that did not go well. Come on, let's go. Dip. Alright, 
run. Oh shit, he is right on my ass. Okay, dude, you gotta be a little more chill. You're too persistent. What does this do? Oh, there, let's not figure that out right now, I guess. There we go. Sex for you, buddy. Reload. Shit, gotta watch out for the gates on that, I guess. Gonna be coming from the left side now, I guess. Oh, you're dead. And you're dead. Surprisingly much easier than the first time I fought these guys. I was just constantly dying. I had to do this like five times in a row, but I guess I was just better equipped. I believe that's the last of the keeper for this game. I created this world. You cannot keep me here. I can damn well try. <laughs> okay, so we gotta avoid searchlights. That's fine. That's not an issue. Fuck your searchlights, dude. I've played Batman Arkham Asylum. I know how to dodge Scarecrow shit. Oh, wait. Shit, shit, shit. This one's coming. Gotta use these alcoves, I guess. Know what's going on. Yep. I assume you just, like, immediately die if he sees you. Go. Did that do anything? Open this side. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Go, dude, yeet. Go. I am not good to deal with exploding shit. Am I in the home stretch? I can't even see what's going on because of the wall. Oh. That's not good. Crash Bandicoot my way. Crash Bandicoot. There we go. That is a tall ass fucking. Almost said chimney. That's a tall ass tower. Maybe the tower has a chip, who knows. This looks eerily similar to the last uh, save point. You know, it, it is the same one. Uh, except we don't have chair right here. The chair got smashed, apparently. Can't save, though. But we do have a lot of green gel, I guess I, can't, I just can't use. And that boss battle gave us a whole bunch that we just can't use, I guess. So that's whatever. And I guess we're just going all the way to the top. Right, this should be the last make it out battle. Alive, I'm never riding in an elevator again. Elevators are the least of your fucking worries and your experience with this, Sebastian. That's... Your priorities are a little out of whack if I do say so myself, my dude.
That is big fleshy thingy. Dr. Oh, Jimenez. Everyone's all linked up. Jimenez is dead because he died in here. Um There's me. Hit me. It can't be. Is Leslie not possessed yet? Or is this another projection by Ruvik? Sebastian, get away from him. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... <sighs> Doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Rubik. He's the one that is pragmatic, but you can't really just decide that for Leslie. Pretty cold. Not gonna lie. I think she didn't apply that logic to, uh, to the second game. Don't go to Naked Rubik. Don't do it. Don't do it, Leslie. He's naked. And see, Rubik wins right then and there. Leslie, you poor innocent boy. I love how nonsensical all this is. <laughs> this is so stupid, I love it. This makes no goddamn sense. See, Ruvik can kill us so easily at any moment, and he just decides to give us scenarios in which we can win. Oh, that is nasty. That is disgusting. And there's Rubik. This looks extremely similar to the Salazar fight in Resident Evil 4. We should be dead. We should not be alive. Use the cover here, I guess. Before he smacks us with Oh shit shit. Run the other way. Run the other way, dude. I mean, damn, at least Rubik's trying pretty hard right now, I guess. Hey, he's wearing braces. Good for him for having dental insurance, I guess. I hope he has dental insurance, because that shit is expensive if you do not have it. I would know.
And of course we managed to find a fucking uh, army vehicle with a fucking turret on it. Because of video games. Oh, and it even highlights, yeah, this is where you need to shoot. So that there's no sense of fucking ambiguity. This is exactly what you need to be doing. Let me shoot at his brain. That's what I need to be doing, right? For his frickin' big old sack belly or whatever the fuck you want to call it. This is so dumb. He, 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 he's grabbing us. Why doesn't he just chuck it? You do not need to be helping me with this, Rubik. This is counterproductive to everything you're trying to do. Oh wait, is he gonna check us? Oh shit. Did I die or is that supposed to happen? No, I guess that's supposed to happen. I think that's like the first super serious, like real big injury we took in the game. And in classic, classic Resident Evil fashion, you can't beat the game if you don't have a rocket launcher. You need a rocket launcher at the end. I fucking love this game. Did that not hit him? There we go. Okay, we just gotta aim for the head, apparently. I am trying, game. I am trying real hard. I am trying. Let it be known. I only have so many rockets. I am running out of them, so... Shit. Oh no, I'm totally gonna die. I am so dead. There we go. We got two more rockets. How are we not dead? We have a giant hole in our chest. And now he's in his mouth. Okay. Fuck you, Rubik. Oh, come on. I I shot him. I guess I didn't shoot him, like, in the head, but I did shoot Rubik. Uh, that was a confirmed hit. You can see the blood coming out. I guess it has to be a... All right, headshot time. Because nothing else works, apparently. Oh, come on. Really? Like, I was on his head, I pulled the trigger, and it just happened to miss? Because the hit detection sucks so bad in this game. At least the checkpoint for this is being very generous. I will give it that. Gotta shoot him at exactly the right time, apparently. You gotta wait for the slowdown. There we go. That was annoying. Defeated the ultimate evil within. That is a achievement I just got. So we are still in the fake world right now? Because that's all looking gooey. That's not supposed to be like that. I don't... I believe so? 
It's not actually supposed to look like that, right? Yeah, we're still in the fake I world. I created this world. You cannot keep me here. Ruvik. We gotta smash his fucking brain. I'm going to finish this. Let's destroy. <laughs> that is the quick time. Uh. Stomp him. That is a hell of a stop. I'll give him that. Vital sign, sir. And now we're in the real world. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. The no Kidman's up to some shit. Kidman, why are you being super sneaky? I thought we were friends, but I guess not. Sorry, random police officer. Goodbye, Jimenez. You sucked. <laughs> Don't feel bad about that one. Ruben Victoriano. The brain is gone. Is Joseph still alive? The question. <sighs> Who was supposed to be that? Oh, Leslie. First name Withers? Or no, last name Withers. Leslie Withers. Because as we saw before the boss battle, Leslie got liquidified. So we beat Rubik, but it didn't mean much because he already won. He still could have killed us. That that's true. But wait, so what murders took place here? I don't understand. I thought that was all part of the... Huh. How are all these people dead in the real world? Go, go, go! Detective, are you alright? Is there anyone else? Just... Give me some real fresh air. Who killed these people? Ruvik was already in the machine. So. I don't understand. But there's Leslie. Well, quote unquote, Leslie. Not walking like Leslie, that's for damn. Like, like, none of the officers are stopping him either. Who's this guy in, like, this fucking mental institute fucking uh, attire? No one bothers to be like, hey, don't you belong here? <laughs> yeah, perfect tease for a sequel uh, with Ruvik, but. Uh. Nothing really appears with Ruvik in the sequel. Here's to hope in a third game, maybe he revol- I don't want to say revolves around again, because he kind of already got his entire past and whatnot. But, um... Maybe as a nod, maybe like a villain? If they want to go like the three multiple villains route that they did in two. Yeah, I have 
actively enjoyed my revisit of this game. Um, I don't know if I'd give it like a wide endorsement because there's a lot of issues with it. But if you like horror games and if you like action horror like Resident Evil 4, um, I would say yes, you should absolutely play this game if you're willing to put up with some weird stuff. Um, a lot of clear bonuses for a new game plus. And that game lasted us ten, ten and a half hours. Not bad for what was my third playthrough, I want to say. But yeah, not bad overall. Pretty satisfied with that. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the DLC. Uh, we have about 40 minutes left on stream. I have not played the DLC before, so I'm going to be uh, completely blind on that. Loading profile data. Downloadable content. There's the assignments. Uh, Detective Julie Kidman finds herself within the darkness of STEM, confronting Ruvix and her own personal demons while pursuing her mission. Uh, the consequence. Julie Kidman's story continues as her mission and rebelliousness drag her deeper into the nightmares of Ruvix's world. So these two, or this one's a sequel to that other one. And the Executioner is some kind of weird spinoff. As the Keeper, infiltrate the Victoriano estate and rescue your missing daughter. So you're kind of like using the Keeper as like an avatar within. I don't know how relevant that is to the story. Because I know I know like the appeal of the assignment and the consequences that you're playing as Kidman. Um, well, let's jump into that. I, I, I don't know anything about this, so it's new to me. Evil Within, the assignment. It has, oh, it has its own options and stuff? Would that not just be the same for, um... Okay, so my graphics are the same, so that's good. Does it have everything else set the same? Okay, a uh, new game. The mark in the center is barely visible. Sets. Let's just put it like 60. They existed together, but each saw things their own way. It was as if each patient's consciousness filled in the blanks, creating their own reality. Test notes from trial 716AX, Dr. Marcelo Jimenez, a.k.a. The Asshole. I do. I made my choice. Okay, so when does this take place within the main game? Because I know it's like concurrent. I don't think it's necessarily before or after. Why are you wearing heels like that on duty? That is not a great choice. <laughs> Granted, I doubt it's because of like character agency. It's just fucking... It's a video game, we're gonna make what looks cool or attractive, whatever. It's not practical, it's, it's stupid. It is absolutely absurd that a, a female officer w would wear those shoes, like, on duty when you're going around chasing people and shit. It's, that's, no. It don't work like that, Chief. This ain't it. Oh, okay, so this is right after the uh, ambulance thingy uh, that starts no off blood. chapter two, I think. Or anything. So this is what the woods look like when it's actually well lit, I guess. Aw, oh, dude, her sprint sucks. Her sprint is so bad. I wasn't alone. Where is everybody? Granted, it's because, you know, I just got done playing with, like, not like a max out character, but I had upgrades. This was not... In the original. Oh, 
Oh, police. Okay. I take it back about the shoe. Maybe those are the perfect shoes for stabbing zombies in the face. I, I take that back. I rescind my comment. I guess that guy has to go fuck off so that he can go be killed by Sebastian. But this is lighter out, so Sebastian was in the dark, so, and he was pat. Okay, that's a bit of a plot hole. I, I don't know. Shit, I've got to get out of here. Okay, you know what? Maybe I was just under the assumption that this took place after Sebastian woke up, but... Because he was in the same spot, wasn't he? With the ambulance? Uh, right or left is the question. I'm gonna go right. Uh, KCPD criminal record. Uh, da -da -da, expunge juvenile offense. Expunge juvenile offense. What they all say. Uh, criminal trespass, destruction of property, grand theft, receipt of stolen goods, underage consumption of alcohol, resisting arrest, shoplifting, burglary. So it's a bunch of juvies stuff, apparently. Maybe that's where they got their test subjects or something? I don't know. Okay, yeah. I slightly take back my criticisms of her shoes. I can see why that'd be useful for stabbing zombies, but there's no way she could have known that. So, yeah. No going back. Back up. Hey, where's Joseph? This is odd. None of these effects were in the base game, so it's kind of cool to see it, I guess. Settle down, Leslie. 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 Leslie Withers. That is a I'm sorry. big room for a fucking Get office. Focused. I need your attention. This is a serious matter. Everything we do is a serious matter. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'd like to think so, but conviction must be proven with action. As I was saying, your target is Leslie Withers. He's a patient at Beacon Mental Hospital. But he's something more. Question. If their mission was to kill Leslie so that Ruvik can't escape, why did they not just unplug Leslie in the real world? That would have killed him if we're going by Matrix rules or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of a good reason. Simply put, we need him to run our STEM system. Okay, because they, I guess they need him. They want to get him out alive. I don't understand. We own Beacon. Why not just take him? Our relationship with his advisor, Marcelo Jimenez, has become rather strained. The boy is a leverage piece. Jimenez plans to activate a STEM prototype at Beacon without our permission. Obviously, that's unsuitable. Have no illusions. It will be dangerous. Come, take a walk. The nurses are waiting. I'll be right back. I just gotta use the restroom. The RB.
All right, and we are back. <gasps> that is a kitty cat with a red bow. I think this cat's even in um, Evil Within 2, hey if I remember correctly. Where did you it's come like from? in the system. This would be the real version? New slots. Um, an oath is apparently the name of the chapter. Nice ID. Your, your hair game is on point, my dude. What's at what's at this asshole's desk? Can we fuck with it? He doesn't even have anything. He has some drawers. He doesn't have a computer. It's a fucking is that what's that, is that a fucking typewriter? No, it's just a thing for his pens. Why do you need an office this big and the couch is so far away? It's who does not have good priorities. <laughs> So yeah, this is all new to me. Okay, so I think the idea is that Kidman is a... Why is your head all... Blurred? Are we in the machine already? But, um... Yeah, she's supposed to be like a Mobius plant. Um, inside the KCPD. Is what I'm getting. Doing a lot of plant experimentations or something, I guess. Why is this sequence so like I know it's like obviously weird because like the dumb architecture and like why is everything laid out the way it is, but still. At least they have escalators, I guess. With one thing that's if apparently out of service. The system, he'll be pulled in. Hopefully he doesn't. But as a precaution, we've prepared an infusion to prevent contamination. Like a vaccine? To protect me? More accurately, to hide you. We developed STEM. But there is a ghost in the system. Something we call Ruvik means to keep us out something you call Rubik this fusion should protect you to some extent apparently not uh my dude something called Rubik you know it's just a defense system motherfucker it's the fucking dude trying to kill everything nice silhouette game though why send me alone you won't be alone you'll be with your team from KPD You'll get a call on the radio reporting an incident at Beacon. Everything will be arranged. But there are consequences of little value. In regards to your mission, they're expendable. Damn, it'd be like that, though. Come, sit down. We must have that boy. He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind Okay, so wait. Okay. I can't like, cancel my little theory about just like, oh, why didn't they just pull the plug? Because obviously they want him as the asset. They're corporate. They don't care about the risk. I get that. I said in my previous comments. Um, the fact that Kidman was willing to kill Leslie means that she was already in the process of like betraying these guys because it goes directly against what they want. While Sebastian was accidentally going in favor of what they want. So, unwittingly, like, Sebastian, heart of gold, unwittingly doing, achieving an evil end. Kidman, morally gray area, uh, turning a little bit into a bit of a good guy by betraying uh, the evil organization. Consequences for failure. Loyalty is a sensitive subject for us. Trust is such a valued commodity in today's world. 
So once again, I ask you, do you stand with Mobius? I, I mean, we're we're sitting. I made my we s we sit with Mobius. Now we're laying down with Mobius. With do not yeah. waver. That is now a going to big ass down. needle. And when I'm finished, I'll ask you a series of questions. That is Ten, a long ass needle to have in your nine, arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Illuminate your face, dude. Now I'd like to ask you some questions. What the fuck? Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted? <gasps> Can we get that needle out of our arm? I fucking hate that shit whenever you're in a hospital they're giving you like IVs or whatever. I don't like having a needle stuck in me. It, it fucking freaks. Ah, that is a long needle. But yeah, I'm fine with, uh, absolutely fine with vaccines, absolutely fine with taking flu shots, fine with drawing blood. I just don't want to sit there for minutes on end with a fucking needle in me. It's, it freaks me out. But admittedly, last time I had to do, had something like that, I did freak out a bit. Are we already under? Are we in STEM? Are we tripping? Are we on some pretty cool drugs? Got anything to grab around here? Oh, apparently that's the way to go. So let's go that way. Got a flashlight. Oh, we can use it to focus. Oh. Why are you kneeled over like that, my dude? That doesn't seem comfortable. You're dead. Okay, so we have to be under, right? <sighs> Better than tapping to open a door, I guess. find a way in there. Let me give you more light, motherfucker. <laughs> Apparently you can take cover? That's a Kidman thing. That's not in the base game. Come here. Oh, you can even get people closer to you? Okay. Lock from the inside. Maybe there's another way in. We're doing some Gordon Freeman shit right here. Oh. That dude's probably dead. Oh. That's not good. What's up with freaking Kidman's little cowlick to the side? Always sticking out. Oh. Oh, shit. What could have done this? That took your entire upper torso, my dude. That's not good. 
I would go so far, or as to describe that as not good. Oh. It went up there, I'm guessing. Oh! Fucking shit. You got no head now, though. Which is true. I'm afraid that the fragile mental states of the subjects are limiting our studies. Mobius wants us to move past Beacon patients and onto more stable people. They want to get STEM closer to its intended use. Would they see the world in the same way? Would a sane mind weather the psychically draining experience? I had that dream again. I entered the STEM myself. If I remember from Evil Within 2, you can't necessarily even yank one person from the system. Because uh, if they have like predominant control over the entire uh, STEM world, uh, just suddenly disconnecting them would basically kill everyone else, if I remember correctly. Hide around corners and below low obstacles. You can move along walls, peek around corners, and call out to enemies. So yeah, I guess we gotta do everything stealth right now. Are there enemies around right here? Please don't get up, dude. I don't see anyone right here. Let's do this. Over here. We do stealth skills? Nope! <laughs> <Go> yeet. <laughs> they got stuck on there, wouldn't walk around. Stand still to completely recover health, hide and use cover to increase recovery rate. That was that was so dumb, but it worked in my favor. That is a safe. Um we need to go from the thickest to the... I'm guessing it's... Yep. Letter scrap one. Can't really tell what it says. And hide. Is this gonna like be primarily focused on stealth? We don't have any weapons yet. Maybe that's like a chapter two thing, something. It's rope. Oh shit. Oh shit. Run, dude. Nope. Oh, we can't run anymore. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Shit. Okay. Gotta outsmart it. See a sucker? Can I not? Oh, Crouch is on C. Duh. I am very bad at the stuff at this, apparently. They all look all glowy, though, for whatever reason. Alright, let's go to the right. Cause you went to the left. I don't want to fuck with that. Oh, I guess we can go in here. No. 
Oh, we can distract them that way. Nice. Oh, you can lock it. Okay. Key card or something. Oh, shit. That one's got a knife. Let's close this. Oh, you know what? We can probably lock this one in here. That's probably what we needed. Get over there, dumbass. We'll stay in that room. Ha! <laughs> Fuck off. Got locked in there. Lured an enemy with a phone call and locked them in a room. I got that achievement, apparently. Ha ha ha! Fucker! Good thing they don't know how to press buttons, I guess. Is there anything around here? There? Here, I'm guessing. Oh, that is an enemy right over there. I don't know if I can get over here though. There's something in there, but we can't get in there. that okay office key card yeah oh hey dude did he push his stuff over from over there oh shit fuck I didn't know he's gonna fucking do that oh what the fuck oh Oh shit. I don't know what the fuck that was. Okay. We need to grab the key card. Apparently this dude's gonna come screeching over. Let's hide in here. Cause that's our only option, I guess. Please don't notice me through the... It has a window to see me come in here. Oh no. Oh. What the fuck? Oh no. No. Oh, it's saying Leslie? Wearing high heels, it wants Leslie. Fuck that, dude. Oh, fuck that. I am, I am dipping. Hey, it's still roaming the area. I don't think it's just like a set piece. I think it's like actually roaming
Please don't be around that fucking... I don't hear it. Turn off the... Okay, cool. We good. Damn, it's fucking dark in here. It wants Leslie. <laughs> um, can't read that. I assume by like the green light that means like kind of racked, but I guess not. Agent status terminated. Authorization invalid. What? Terminated. Terminated. Maybe I can force it open with the computer. Okay, that's what the green light's for. There we go. <laughs> the freaking typing sound effect was still going as her hands freaking left it. Oh shit. Oh, do not come over here, please. Oh no. Please don't look down. Oh, uh, that is not cool. Please leave. Oh, it made a door for us. That's nice of it to do so, but I don't really want to follow in its footsteps. That thing used its light. Apparently we can do the same thing. We have flashlight powers. Maybe not the best thing to kick open doors. In order to have like any precognition that this would be happening, this would have to be taking place after that happens in the base game? Or maybe she has like some kind of... This is from before. Leslie, is he really here? So the only other reason, like, they would have that image of her in the box would be because, like, maybe she has, like, some kind of preconceived uh, fear of drowning? And then that's why it made its way into stem like Leslie that? Leslie is here. Okay, I gotta get to him before anything else does. But she's not in stem yet, right? Is some weird other thing. I'm legitimately confused. <laughs> Hello, kitty cat. Um, yeah, I think that's going to go to be the stream just because we're coming up on the two hour mark. Um, I just want to go in and thank everyone that stopped by, came and hung out and watched. Uh, the next stream is going to be on Sunday at the typical time for the Game Session Podcast. That's at 6.30 p.m. PST every Sunday. Uh, I think I said 6.30 p.m. PST every Sunday. Um, I'm going to be putting out my stream schedule for next week, uh, basically as soon as I finish this. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and keep everyone updated on that. Thanks for hanging out. So you can find all the links to all my stuff down below for, at the Linktree link. Uh, best place to keep up to date with me on everything I do is on Twitter. Uh, so yeah. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys next time.